So I'm here with Rob Lee um, from Freescale, who's assigned to Lenaro. Rob, just tell me a little bit about yourself, um, where you live, where you came from. Okay, uh, I live in Austin, Texas. I work for Freescale, yeah. and uh, I've been working on the Linux BSP team, uh, doing work with the Linux BSP team, and doing some support work at the same time, starting in around 2008. And before that? Before that, I worked for uh, Sigmatel, who made a yeah. lot of the MP3 parts that went into iPod Shuffle and a ton of different MP3 players. Like the coder pieces? Uh, the actual SOC and uh, everything all in one, all in one chip. Yeah, all right. the, uh, audio decoding, it didn't do video. But, right. Uh, so I've been primarily working in the area of power management for the last six years or so. Right, and so and then in Lenaro, you're working with Amazon Power Management, right? Correct. And so I know a little bit about what you're working on. So you started out by doing this thing about upstreaming support for IMX CPU idle, right? Correct. And, and CPU idle is one of two um, idle mechanisms that Linux, uh, the Linux framework provides. The first mechanism is actually called arc idle, and it just is very dumb. You provide one function, and it goes always calls that function. Um, well, CP so, so explain this to me. So, with the CPU is not CPU is not doing anything, right? The right. We'll call our idle. Is that it? Right. When the OS runs out of work to do, basically, yeah. um, then it eventually gets down into an idle state and calls arc idle if you haven't provided a CPU idle driver. Right. And, and arc idle is just a, a, a very dumb do one thing. Right. Um, CPU idle allows the system to choose to go into different levels of power saving with different cost to each. Some save more power, but take more time to exit. Right. Um, or they have a little bit of, a, of power associated with going in, and you, and you don't want to go in and out too much. Um, so, so oh, some really? So there, 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 there's a power impact in, in going into it as well? There is, uh, there is that mechanism that CPU idle, this core CPU idle driver looks at. All right. uh, to be honest, I'm not sure on ARM that WFI has that penalty, right. but the core CPU at all does provide that uh, mechanism and apparently some other architectures do have that penalty. So it's sort of a trade-off between latency time and getting out of idle and how much power you're going to cost in going into it and how much you save when you're actually in that state for, for a period of time. Correct. Is that it? Correct. Okay, so you started doing work on this IMX um, upstreaming stuff, right? Yeah, I started out uh, upstreaming an IMX driver and I was I looked at uh, one that some work had been done on and I decided to make it for all of IMX, not just IMX uh, all right. 51 specific. And I upstreamed that and uh, Russell King, our maintainer, yeah. had noticed that some of the timekeeping that is done on each of these platform CPU idle driver implementations, implementations was being duplicated everywhere. Right. And so he said, Let's not accept any more of this. Got dinged by Russell, huh? Got dinged by Russell. That's how you get upstream. It's a, it's a common story. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, then I started looking at um, just consolidating some of that timekeeping work and and interrupt enabling disabling. And the timekeeping is needed uh, so you can keep statistics of, of how long you've been in each idle state. Which right gives you a really good idea of how much power savings um, and, and, and possibly overall power your system is using without actually measuring. But how, how do you get that information though in, in a running system? So you would have had to uh, benchmark your system before and right. know how much power it's using in each of these states. Yeah. And, and for now it's mostly just the CPU power we're talking about. Right. Um, but, um, and there's another, there's other power tools for, for analyzing your system like PowerTop mm -hmm. that depend on this CPU idle state right. um, usage information. Right. Um, so the timekeeping and usage information is, is for, for really benchmarking for and, 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 yeah, and, yeah. and for, in the end for analyzing your system. Right. And the other piece about um, interrupt control, it's because I guess when you're going into deeper idle states, you, you're, you're going to be more have more latency and, and reply to them? Do you do something special with the interrupts when you're in I, an idle state? I'm not knowledgeable in the entire history there, right. Um, but right now, it, this, you know, the snapshot of the kernel today, which could change yeah, sure, next sure. week, but um, you always, interrupt, interrupts are always disabled for that core right. once you go into the core CPU idle um, call that gets called you know, once, once you reach an idle state. 
Um, but apparently at one time this was not the case because it looks like even every platform driver did their own interrupt disabling. Right. And that's unnecessary. So that's one of the things that's being um, cleaned up and, and, and removed. Um, but you want to re-enable interrupts as soon as you can, as soon as you come out of idle to reduce your um, your overall inter- latency, I guess. Right, right overall interrupt latency, yeah. um, which can cause, you know, Q- PMQS problems and, and right. some drivers require a certain amount of uh, re- reactiveness. But don't you sort of want to avoid being interrupted when you're in idle? So I'm, I'm a CPU, right? I'm, I'm in idle. I want, to, I want to be as idle as possible because I don't want to do any work. Right. So don't you want to avoid interrupts going to that CPU as much as possible? Um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you could try to consolidate on, on, and this is kind of some of the newer areas being looked at. Right. Um, once you have multiple cores, yeah. you could do, make some smart choices like that to consolidate your interrupts so that you try to keep as many cores into a deep idle s- a state as possible, right. for as long as possible. Right, and then you service interrupts just with one of, just with one of them. Right, and that, that's going to be, that may be pretty platform specific and even application specific, um, but the interfaces need to be there to allow for that. And some of these things are being considered um, in the community right now for SMP systems. All right, well, thanks very much, Rob. Very cool, thanks. All right, thank you. Cheers.